these are two of our robots on their way to work. Bob and Molly. They're explorers. Both robots are equipped with sensors and computers to travel where no robot has gone before. What makes them special is that they work completely autonomously. They coordinate their actions as a team, without intervention of humans. Ah, Kim, one of our turtle bots is already waiting. She will support Bob and Marley. The robots form an ad hoc network, enabling wireless communication. That means they do not rely on existing infrastructure such as Wi-Fi access points. If communication links between robots fail, they will automatically search for new routes. Bob and Marley switch to multi-hop communication using Kim. Each robot autonomously creates a map of its surroundings and shares it with the others. In the background, we see Bob's map. Notice how Bob receives Marley's data, who continued at the other end of the corridor. Bob integrates Marley's map into his own and vice versa to get a complete picture of the environment. This allows the robots to coordinate their exploration. Now, Bob and Marley continue to map this office. You see how they perceive their respective parts of the environment. Note the colored frontiers. They represent unmapped areas. In order to prevent both robots to explore the same area, Bob and Marley self-organize their assignment of frontiers using a form of auctioning. Distributing the work evenly means they finish their job earlier. Someday, multi-robot systems like this may keep humans from entering dangerous environments to perform arbitrary tasks. <laughs>